So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys want the theme song shortened? So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purposes. Okay, hi everybody, Mark there. Finally, I got to wa watching um, Dragon Ball um, Super Superhero. <laughs> that is a title. Let's place. Let's put the same exact word in there. <laughs> so this ep this movie was great. I liked it. I thought it was funny. There is um one thing I didn't like. But I'm not gonna hold it against the whole entire movie. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. That is me, okay? But the rest of it was fun. The animation was different. It's definitely because it's cell animation. They, um, usually this show uses, um, this one's not, because the way they use, usually do Dragon Ball shows is, um, they probably do the same exact thing that, um, they used them cuter, but they um, did what uh, um, the Rescuers Down Under did, and they used computers to draw and, they, and have it be 2D still. Now this movie is still animation and basically just make it look like 2D animation, but they're using 3D animation. So. I think it looked, it took me a while for me to get used to it, because I'm so used to it looking like it usually does, but eventually I got used to it. It, um, and this is basically, um, the descendants of the Red Ribbon Army, who's left over, and they're trying to, um, get back at what happened with Cell and, and with basically Dr. Jerome. We have, like, Dr. Jerome's uh, grandson, who is not exactly like his, um, his, uh, his grandpa, apparently they never met, and yet he went, he, he did get arrested, but he did, he, um, got arrested for, um, completely different reason, and, but his, but the one who started the Red Red Army, his, um, son or grandson or something like that, also is here, and he's trying, they're still trying to rule the world. And stuff like that. And so he paints uh, the bad guy, paints Goku and uh, Piccolo and everything like that to be bad against um, for the grandson. So they so they work together, and um, eventually they did they, they signed up to go work together. Now this whole entire movie, pick. Um, Vegeta and um, Goku are not really, they're in the movie, but first they're not, because they're both just fighting with each other, not allowed to go Super Saiyan, they're at the state of power, um, Broly's and, and, they're, and Broly has to reserve and watch them keep their cool, basically, during this. And so, and um, Beerus is nice to, um, Beerus likes the girl that um, is with Broly. I forgot her name, but he likes her. And uh, the other one, and, and the other guy, is his cook, and he fires. Um, it says, "Freeze your fire," because this guy actually cooks better. <laughs> so yeah, and I found I found that kind of funny. And so basically, Pam is now going to preschool. So I'm guessing she's like. Four or three in this, and um, she does not have fly yet. So, typical stuff. And and Pillow's training her, and both Videl and Gohan are both busy with their being parents, but they're um, both too busy to really um, 
watch her too much because I like, Gohan's uh, working on projects, being a scholar, and Videl's doing stuff. Being Videl. So basically, uh, Piccolo is Uncle Piccolo and Babysitter. And so yeah. And eventually, um, Piccolo finds out about uh, the story because one of the um, Android's new ones are basically supposed to be superheroes. They are hunt they are fighting her and they um, want to get back. And so they they go after the number two guy goes after Piccolo thinks he kills him. Is there really no Piccolo? And um Piccolo infiltrates Red Ribbon Army and figures everything out after he gets out of the fight and um he this wears a different outfit and then finds out what's going on and finds out that they think everybody's an alien, which they're not wrong. Mostly everybody is. <laughs> and then he goes and tells Bulma on the phone while he's still in the, in the in the place to call for Goku and Vegeta, but since I just told you they're not going to come in this movie, he is resort to go and get Kohan to help him. Gohan won't do it, so um, they go, are going to go kidnap um, Pam, and basically Pam goes along with it because she uh, Piccolo told her to, and also um, Piccolo made it where he has more power by making a wish by um, getting more power basically from the, the dragon from the dragon, and um, Bulma. Is trying to make herself look younger by um, using making the dragon do proper surgery, apparently, and um, Din Din allowed him to have more wishes, three wishes instead of one, basically for um, a joke. And um, so yeah. And so that part's really that part's just not even worth laughing at. But I did like that Piccolo did make Gohan make his wear wear his own outfit that he did when he was a teenager. And it was pretty good. Uh, it was um nostalgic um bum right there for me. And then I need to have felt. And Piccolo, it's, this movie's more of Piccolo's movie. <laughs> Go on, Piccolo's movie, which they needed. We needed to let these two be heroes for. Let somebody else be a hero besides Go, huh? besides Go Ku. When is Pic? When is, Go, when is Vegeta gonna get his movie? <laughs> Where he's the hero? Never, probably. <laughs> but yeah, and um. Ian Piccolo goes and like goes along with the uh, kidnapping and keeps make sure that keeps um, Pam safe and then they go and get um, go get Gohan and Gohan gets pissed because she find he finds out about it and actually stands up and fights for a while and. He goes to um, all his, his best moves, stuff like that. And during this fight, he does go to all. Is this Alter Instinct? Is this Alter Instinct? I don't know what to call this. I don't know. It looks like Alter Instinct. And um, Pet Bulma brings Pam, eighteen, and uh, Trunks, and um, Go Ten. I like the fact that these two are finally adults. Uh, finally, the right age where they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be teenagers here, right? They're supposed in the show. They never really age those two. And I, I like the fact they have to remark this, that it takes a while for um, them to grow up, and that's and um, they just brought up, got huge all of a sudden. And they were, it's just so funny the actor remark and the fact that. The fans have been yelling about this for years, 
during um super during uh, Dragon Ball Super that why are these two not getting older? And they're just in this, and this is basically him, them telling us, okay, here you go. This is why they didn't get older. <laughs> but one thing I did not like, I don't know why they made them made it. Uh, I don't know. If it's just for the the mangas. So I've never seen a picture of the Maxi as an adult somewhere, and they're actually like go ten toe tanks. But they were when they turned into go tanks during this movie. They're just basically fat go tanks the whole entire time because go ten messed up the finger. Okay, that's the one problem with this. I wish I had got to see proper teenage go tanks. But whatever. I guess I had to deal with it. And and also we got to see Piccolo turn big and he also got a new form called Piccolo Orange because Piccolo sucks at picking names. And he doesn't care. <laughs> so and Piccolo depends being pretends being dead for a little bit like usually uh like like we have to have it all die. For a little bit. We have to think of Piccolo's dead. Only, that's the only way to get um, Gohan to go to Ultra Instinct or whatever form this is. But, do you want to correct me? Go ahead. They didn't really say so, this figure it's Ultra Instinct. And then, after that, after we see Bolton fight those two, these two other androids, eventually one gets defeated, um, the other, one of the, the ants descendants, Goes and pushes the button, only Mega Cell, uh, Max, or whatever, and um, they have to fight him. And yep, and that's when Piccolo ends up um, getting big and takes, tries to um, hold off. Um, because he's big enough for it. And yep, and Bolt and. This is when we see, end up seeing um, Pam flying this eventually. I guess that's her um, character development. How does Pam learn how to fly? Yay! And, yeah. And that, the movie ends with Pit, with um, Vegeta finally being Kakarot. <laughs> Good job, Vegeta. So, and Pam gets saved and stuff like that. And, um,. Even though basically <laughs> we're okay with her getting kidnapped since, but she was fine. It was fun. I liked it. Just really wish that it that we got to see proper go tanks. That's all I really wanted. It. it was fine. Everything else was fine. So I'm probably gonna give this movie like a nine out of ten. I don't get why everybody else in the world hates it because I only hear when I watch reviews is how oh, I hear about when I'm people. Talk about this movie. Like, how must they hate it? Like, what is wrong with it? I don't get it. So, I'll see you guys later. Like, or subscribe to my channel. Like, show me you guys are not subscribed. So, bye bye.